Let's deal with the Midas archetype. The Midas energy is about money primarily, but it can also be seen as abundance as well. So the Midas touch uh, through classical understanding is the person who doesn't matter what they do, they turn it into gold. That's what the Midas touch means. At an archetypal level, it can mean whatever you do, you turn into a form of abundance, abundance and it's not necessarily financial. It can be emotional abundance or health abundance. It can be many different things. At the tribal level, if someone has the Midas energy, they have the capacity to do that, but there's something holding them back. It can be a lack of self-worth, self-esteem, a lack of worthiness, a whole heap of different things can be going on. And often they can also do it for others and not necessarily do it for themselves. At the symbolic level, it again is the balance and the harmony, which means you do it for others, but you equally do it for yourself. And at the highest possible level, Midas means you live in abundance, physical, financial, mental, emotional, and spiritual abundance across the board. And you understand you come from your heart. Midas at the tribal level can often mean the mind constantly trying to work it out. What do I do next? What do I do next? The plans and the strategies. At the symbolic level, you can surrender and let go of having to work it out because you've moved into a place of trust and you allow your heart heart and your higher self to be totally congruent and they tell you which is you anyway it's another aspect of you that shows you what step you have to take next where you have to go and it comes through in many different ways so that you end up with Midas at the symbolic level with abundance across the board you can have all the financial abundance in the world but without health without emotional well-being all of them in place then you're still lacking you're still you still haven't got it you haven't got the highest possible understanding